Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix again. Today I'm going to be tearing down a PS4 1215A. I'm going to show you guys the easiest ways to tear down this thing and I'm going to show you the things to avoid when you're tearing it down. This one's a lot different than the other models of the PS4, so I'll show you all the tips and tricks to make sure you can tear it down without causing any other problems to your console. The tools we'll be using for this teardown are needle nose pliers, a small pair of needle nose pliers, uh, we use this pick just to remove the labels on the back. We got a Phillips number one screwdriver. We got a brush to clean off any debris we find. We have a Phillips zero zero. We have a T8 Torx security screwdriver. We also have a 1 16th flathead screwdriver. The first thing we got to do is take the hard drive cover off and we just slide that off just like on the older models. So that is all the same. But now we get our first look at some of the things that are different. Um, hard drive is totally different. And you can see the motherboard is much smaller just by, just from the look we get now. Once we take this cover off, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So the next thing we're gonna do is take these two screws off. Normally there's warranty stickers here that you take off using this pick. You can just get it in there and pull it right off. So um, I have already removed those. I have done uh, several teardowns of this already. Um, so those are all gone already. But what is missing is there's not a screw there and there's not a screw there uh, like on the previous models. So that makes it a little bit quicker to get into. Um, I'm gonna be using electric screwdrivers again on this just to make sure that we can get this done quickly. So we're gonna start by taking these two off. Put it in my screw holder right there. Okay, now that those are off, we're gonna take these two T8 screws out. They're the T8 Torx security screws. Now to remove this cover, you do the same as with the old models. You pull up right there near the power button. You have to be careful not to pull on the power button this time because that is one of the changes they made. It's not attached to this cover. So we're gonna pull up here, pull up here, and then pull back on it and that comes right out. So now you get the view of the inside of this. It is obviously much different than the old styles, uh, the old models. The motherboard is about this big. Looks like maybe they'll be coming along with a slim model before too long with the size of this motherboard. And um, so there's different, different sizes of screws. These are a T8. These black screws right here, uh, you can do use the Phillips number one. There's also another kind of screw right here and here, also Phillips number one. And there's three uh, screws back here that are different as well, and those are those can also be removed with Phillips number one. So the bottom case is a little bit harder to remove on this one. We're gonna start about right here. Got our opening tool in there. Now that side's off. One thing you have to be careful of is if you're not careful, the other side will snap back on. So what I'm gonna do is actually use another opening tool, stick that in there, so now that can't snap back down. Now we can go ahead and demonstrate this again for you guys. We're gonna get it this in there, right in the lip there. And then just go along. And there we go. So that's gonna come off just by pushing this forward as we lift up the back. And that one's off. Careful not to knock your screwdriver off the edge of your bench there. Okay, the disk drive on these, uh, d it doesn't look like um, they have any sort of a daughter board on this, so I'm assuming that you can just swap these disk drives right with another one from any PS4. Now, we haven't actually tried that yet, so I can't say for sure, but it looks like these are gonna be swappable drives without the, the uh, daughter board on there, which would be great. So the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and take out the power supply. So we've got a T8 here, a T8 here, a T8 in the corner here, and then the two um, Phillips, pretty much the same as the old, old style. So let's get these taken out. That one's loose. And that one's loose, so now this whole metal piece is gonna come up. 
Looks like I gotta loosen that one just a little more. Okay, so that'll come up and we'll set that aside. Now for the T8s. Okay, now this is similar to the old style as well. You wanna pull up here um, slowly as you pull up on the other side and then just kind of pull up on both at the same time. And then we've got the power supply, power supply connector down here that we're gonna take our pair of mini needle nose pliers. We're gonna pull up on one end and then normally you have to pull up on the other end and then the same, that other end and go back and forth like that. This one we have had out several times already so that was fairly easy to get out. So now you get a look at the connectors in here. We've got three ribbon cables and the Wi-Fi cable connector. So for the Wi-Fi cable connector we're just going to take our pliers and pull it out like that. Now this first, uh, I would say it's the medium size connector. We got a small cable, a large, a wide cable, and a medium cable. So the medium cable actually just pulls straight out. Now this large cable, cable you have to be a little more careful. There's um, a black tab here. You have to pull up on each end of it like that. So it's pulled up and then it just slides out like that. And then the small one is the same as the first one and just pulls right out. So now these cable connectors are all loose and ready to go. So at this point, we'll go ahead and remove the optical drive. It's fairly easy to get out of here. We got one, two, three, four T8 screws to remove. So we'll remove those now. Oh, go ahead and drop one of our screws here. Okay, so when you're um, removing this optical drive, you do have to deroute this cable. It's easy to tell where it goes because there's uh, slots right where that cable goes right in and out. So each one of these is a little slot that the cable goes in and then it uh, rests right there. So then we also have to remember to take this ribbon cable out right here, like that. So now this is just gonna slide and slide out like that. So that's the underside. This is a little bit of a change from the old style ones. It's got these black arms right here, but overall um, it's pretty similar to the old style. And uh, we got our rollers here and um, They've got the bar in between for the rollers. So, you know, this is pretty similar to the old style and I expect you, they'll probably have some of the same same problems. Um, but uh, hopefully it's been upgraded enough that it won't be, won't have quite as many problems as the old disk drive. Okay, so now that the Wi-Fi cable has been derouted, we're actually just gonna tuck that under there and make sure not to get it bent when we flip it over like this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do here is we're going to remove the hard drive and I do also want to make a note when you remove the hard drive this hole right here is for not that hole. This hole right here that's got two arrows on it. One arrow pointing this way, one that way and this is for the manual eject for the disk drive. So I've seen places online that say there is no more manual eject, but there is. Just remove the hard drive and there's a screw right down in there. You just twist and that'll get your disk to slip back out. So we're gonna take our hard drive out now. Hard drive is pretty much the same. Um, as of this video publishing, they were 500 gig hard drives in these new models. I'm assuming very quickly they'll move to the one terabyte, but I don't know for sure on that. Uh, so that's the hard drive. Okay, now the way I like to do this is I take the two cable connectors out I need. This one is for the fan that plugs into the side of the motherboard. And then this one is that cable on the other side that plugs into the optical drive, the disk drive. And then also we've got one new thing. This is the button for the power button for this new model. So to get this off, on the top side here there's a little hole. 
and uh, it just goes right in that little hole and then you, you just you just uh, there's a little clip there so you just pull up on the clip and then that will come right out as you push it out okay so the next thing I like to do is I'm gonna remove this now keep in mind there's one two three there's four different kinds of screws in this so if you've never taken one of these apart you're gonna to have to either take a picture you can go on iFixit we do have a guide on iFixit that show the location of these screws so uh, you may want to do that um, when you go to reassemble this to make sure and get all the screws in the same places now keep in mind the black screws are going to be machine screws which have a different thread that will go that thread into the metal so if you get stuck look what's threat what it's threading into the large ta security screws just screw into plastic so if you look in there you can see that it's just screwing into plastic you know it's not going to be these black ones so we're going to take out the large t8s first And once we get this out, you'll get a good view of the motherboard and how small it is compared to the old style. Now pay attention when I remove the cover off of this black piece right here, because there's one thing you got to be careful of there. I take this out and you'll notice this right here. This is uh, basically a piece of metal that when you put the uh, power supply back in, one of the long screws that goes down through here is gonna screw into this piece of metal right here. And this piece of metal is removable, so if you're not paying attention, you can lose that. So if you have this little piece sitting around when you're done um, taking yours apart, then you gotta remember it goes right there on the top of the motherboard there. So I'll lay that aside. And now we're gonna go ahead and take this metal piece off here. So these two smaller screws and this one black screw. Okay, and then this just lifts off. Keep track of our screws here. An easy way to do it too is you can just put the screw back right in the hole that it came out of for some of this stuff. Okay, so there's those. I'm gonna remove these three in the back right now, right here. Okay, then we've got just the rest of these black screws to pull off. So we're gonna remove those next. Okay, looks like I got one more black one right down here. So we'll get this off. Now this uh, top metal piece is similar to the old wines um, by the fact that it does just lift off. And also it does have the thermal pads that go right here and they go on the RAM chips. So you gotta make sure those are all there when you put it back together. And another change is the clamp is under the metal piece. So this is the APU clamp that hopefully is gonna work a lot better than the old style. So we're just gonna take this off. There's just two screws holding it on. So there's two pieces of this clamp. It's got a top piece and then it's got this bottom spacer piece. So remember that when you put it together. Now this motherboard is similar to the old style in this way and that is that it does just pull up like this and then you just pull back so you gotta you gotta rotate it up from the back over here so once I turn it over you can see um, the thermal paste now normally you're gonna want to clean all that thermal paste off and put new thermal paste on but since we've had this apart several times before we already have the new thermal paste on there so we don't need to worry about that so this is a motherboard you can see it's much smaller than the old style. And like I said, I wouldn't be too surprised if Sony did come out with a slim model here before too long. So we'll put that aside. And the last thing is if you're gonna remove the fan, 
you remove this screw, this screw, and this screw, just like on the old style, and then this pulls up, and then there's one screw here, and I think that's the only one for this one on the fan. Um, and then the fan just pulls up just like the old style and you put the new one in and put it all back together. So that is the new model of PS4, the 1215, and that's the teardown for it. If you guys have any questions at all, then please let us know and we'll help you out however we can. Thanks.